Hey you, this is Intimidating Scouts, and welcome to the first ASMR knowledge. So, uh, just because I'm doing ASMR doesn't mean I'm not going to do regular vlog videos. Uh, those will continue, but for now, we're doing some of this. Okay, go. So my plan is um, for for ASMR knowledge. Um, I'm gonna be doing some dungeon defenders, and playing Ultimum and Morrigan. And I'll. But as far as how often I'm going to update, oh, I don't know if my mic picked that up. Picked that up. Um, how often I'm going to update will definitely be more reliant on um, my availability. I'm, I will always have one video a week unless something happens. <laughs> something really unexpected happens should always be one a week but whether it's ASMR or uh, let's vlog is pretty much at my discretion sorry I'll try to make sure that uh, that good things happen one way or another also, thankfully, um, I'm pretty sure that um, I fixed that awful high pitch whine that was coming from my computer and my old ASMR videos. The problem is, I can still hear it. <laughs> it's just, it's still coming out of my headphones, but it's not being recorded on the video, so, and it only happens, um, it has something to do with recording and playing a game at the same time, and I am just not good enough with computers to figure out what the problem is. Hopefully I'll figure it out soon. Just one, just one. There's one enemy coming out of there. Why do I need to defend that spot? It's ridiculous. This... Ah, whatever. So... Um... I think that was pretty much all the... Oh, the updates also. Thank you, everyone for the comments that you made. Um, I realized a little too late how incredibly self-serving that request was. I, I really, I honestly did not expect um, all the comments to be compliments. I was um, very surprised. Normally when I ask people to comment um, I, I get a lot of suggestions on, on, you know, what people want to hear more of or read more of and, um, ways people feel like I'm, I can fix my writing. Um, sometimes the suggestions are very odd, but, um, I was just trying to get people to kind of, you know, interact a little for, for the giggles of it. I was not expecting everyone to be so profusely complimentary and um, thank you everyone for, uh, for reading my work and for all the kind things you said. Um, a lot of those things I've never heard anyone say about my work before. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled, <laughs> very, um, very grateful, actually. 
Ultimum is like three levels below more again. I'm going to have to... This is going to be a good opportunity for him to get some experience. Oh, that's right. Only one was coming out over there. I should have put the fireball on this side. Oh, well, everything seems to be working out okay. So, uh, yeah, the idea with ASMR knowledge um, is that I am going to continue the uh, some sort of sciency talk. Um, and so <laughs> I wasn't completely sure what I was going to talk about before I made this video. But uh, I'm sure I can think of something real fast. Oh, what do, what do you need more of? Nah, the fireballs need to go up here. Let's be honest. Oh, let's see, what do I know about? I know astronomy. People tend to like astronomy, but I've talked so much about astronomy in the past, I'm not sure I can pull out another topic that would still be interesting. Oh, hey, how about gravity? Yeah, gravity's fun. Okay. Okay, we've anti-gravity. So, I haven't talked about gravity before, have I? Oh, well, we're doing it anyway. Um, okay, so, gravity um, actually goes, oh, oh, that staff fell down the gap. <laughs> I can't get it gone forever. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm way too excited for gravity. Um, oh wait, no, there's no more verns. And I have enough to actually... Oh, good plan is good. Not when I'm standing right here. Okay, so most of the time now um, when people talk about gravity or when it's um, animated or um, drawn for um, for uh, textbooks, it's Technically not any better. What about you? That's way better. That's pretty nice right there. That's level 60. No wonder it's pretty nice. I cannot hold to level 60. All right. Well, I'll just let the game break it down for mana. Um, gravity is usually depicted as basically um, a blanket with the edges taut or um, a, a trampoline surface. It's kind of this idea that um, it's a plane where gravitating bodies um, warp the plane. So like you've got if you look at, um, oh, it is working. Nice. Oh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Good strategies are good. Um, so if you think of looking at a uh, trampoline um, just by itself, 
it um, it's going to be pretty flat. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. Um, but uh, if someone stands on the trampoline, you can see where they're putting pressure on it and it warps. Now the trampoline kind of bends down a little bit because someone's standing on it. Well, this is a really useful way to think about gravity in terms of um, gravity strength. So if you have a little kid standing on a trampoline, the uh, it goes down, you know, so much. Whoops, I want one of these just in case. Oh my god, there are so many defense units on this level. It's insane. I, I like to max my defense units before I start upgrading because you get a bonus. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm kind of going back and forth between talking softly and whispering. Um... The uh, ASMR is very much fan service, so you guys let me know exactly what you, you want for the ASMR. Um, okay. We're just going to throw up everything we can, all the defense units. Actually, I'm going to put it on this side. So, um, if you have a little kid standing on a trampoline, it's going to warp the trampoline a little bit because it's a small, not so heavy human being. If you have a heavier person, a full grown adult, on a trampoline, it warps it a lot more. So another thing you have to ignore is the fact that, you know, clearly if you stand on the edge of the trampoline, it's not going to warp as much as um, as in the middle of the trampoline. But we're ignoring that for this because there's no edge to the universe. Um, the, when people talk about the edge of the universe... Um, they're talking about the edge of the known universe from the perspective of Earth, because, I mean, that's where we are. We're kind of on Earth. Can't really have too many other perspectives. It's just, I need, I need to throw up defense thingamabobs, because there's just... Or I can just rush. If I just go fast, I'll get more experience. It doesn't matter. So, um, we're, for, th for this thought experiment, we're much more um, thinking along the lines of um, um, everything is equal. So, um, we're not taking into consideration where on the trampoline we're standing because this is a hypothetical trampoline. Are well, my crystals under attack? Yeah, one of my crystals was under attack. So, we're, we're imagining a perfect universe kind of trampoline. Nobody touches my crystal. So um, you have a very light person, it warps it a little bit. You have a very heavy person, it warps it more. So you can imagine that as with other gravitating bodies. I mean, humans aren't gravitating bodies, otherwise 
we wouldn't be able to live on Earth. Um, we'd be torn apart by the, uh, the tidal field, the tidal, the, by tidal forces. We'd be torn apart by tidal forces. Oh, hey, hey, I'm almost there. We're gonna put this here, and it will do nothing. But it's there. And now my defense units are maxed. Yay! Okay, so. Now I'm just gonna rush. Just gonna bum rush. What happened? Um, so I wasn't playing with anyone. Jerk. Okay, well. It snowed here today. That might be... Okay, well that was way too easy, so I'm going to hike it up to hard. See if I can do hard. Oh, wait, I'm going to go back to pure strategy. Um, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Didn't mean to start the phase, I meant to go back to tavern. Okay. I get to survival, but no. So I'll get another um, experience bonus for doing um, pure strategy. Okay, so if you have the moon and you put the moon on um, the hypothetical um, the the hypothetical trampoline of the universe. Um, the moon will indent that trampoline um, less than if you put the earth on that hypothetical trampoline. So basically, the, the um, how much someone weighs metaphor is the same as the um, how strong of a gravity a piece of mass has. Um, and mind you, you got to remember um, how much gravity something has is a factor of how much mass is in that something. So the reason Earth has more gravity than the moon is because there's more of the Earth than the moon. So Jupiter, a, you know, a lot stronger gravity than Earth um, because it's a lot bigger. You know, that's why the sun has so much, such a strong gravitational pull. Okay, I don't have to worry about white burns yet. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Makes sense to me. Okay. So, the, um, oh, I remembered what else I was going to tell you guys. It doesn't matter. We'll keep going. I'm all over the place today. <laughs> Okay, so, um, why this is an important analogy and why it's important to um, be able to understand these sort of pictures and these sort of um, animations is because it's kind of counterintuitive 
in a lot of ways because um, gravity is 3D and clearly, you know, a, the plane, the surface of a trampoline is 2D. So this is, you know, happening all around these um, big gravitating bodies. Okay. Whoops, look at that. I have some place completely undefended, and I'm on pure strategy, which means I have to rely on my my towers. I can't attack, so um, so the reason this is important is because um, this basically is going to demonstrate how things interact with gravitating bodies and how gravitating bodies interact with one another. So if you have someone standing on a trampoline and you roll a tennis ball towards them, the tennis ball is going to go straight towards the person until it hits the divot where that person is standing. The reason I'm pointing it that way is because wyverns come from that direction. I want to be able to uh, make sure that my crystal is defended. Screw right, wyverns. They suck. Nobody likes them. Hear that, wyverns? You're not my friend. Okay, here we go. That took forever to set up for the 22 enemies that are coming. Right. So, um, basically, this is exactly the same way that um, that bodies in space interact gravitationally. So if, um, if you're trying to fly past the moon, when you get into the moon's quote-unquote divot in the universe, the little gravitational field, you're going to start rolling towards it, just like the ball rolled towards it. It's going to draw you in. And so this is really cool because you can really experiment with how things are going to... You can actually, like, just pull out a blanket and have a bunch of people hold it taut and place things on it and see how, how things actually truly interact gravitationally. And you don't have to go to NASA. You don't have to be a scientist. Well, technically that's science. I just think that's pretty cool. So... Yeah, that's gonna be good enough. A lot of things come from up here, so I'm gonna put more stuff up here. Not you, I want you. Um, I'm going to put something here. The shields are really less about being shields and more about uh, when something strikes the shield. And the, the little goblin enemy things, they, they do like to attack your turrets, even if... Um, even if they can go around your turret, they like to attack it. But when those shields get attacked, they take away um, the enemy's um, element, so my other turrets can attack it better, which is pretty cool.
Anyway, so one of my favorite um, scientific drawings is um, showing the difference between um, a uh, a regular star, a um, neutron star, and a black hole. So you can imagine a um, a regular star is basically if you have a, a heavy person standing on a tra trampoline. Again, I'm just trying to fill up my defense units. A neutron star, which if you don't know, neutron stars um, are a result of um, supernovas. That if, um, if a star is so heavy and it goes supernova, um, it can create a neutron. It, it can smash a bunch of matter together into um, a neutron star. I think I can still put one of these over here. Wait, maybe pure strategy means that I can't put up turrets in the middle of battle, which I never do that anyway, unless, I mean, that that's, that's what happens when things go very wrong. Oh, crap, no. Um, how do I take this down? Da, 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 da. That's not. Crap, I don't remember how to take that down. I'll just have to put up a bunch more. Max out my <laughs> defense units. <laughs> this is just sad. <laughs> oh, I need more mana. Um, okay, so a neutron star um, on on the plane um, looks like if you took a um, a pole and you pressed the pole down on your trampoline really really hard and the reason for that is it's such a strong gravity there we go that's ridiculous but it maxes my defense units. I really need to figure out how to take down a, a unit. I can never remember. Well, not a unit, a, a turret. <laughs> it's so satisfying to see them all collapse. Oh, I'm a little sadistic, aren't I? And down, except for you. Because archers are awful. Nobody likes archers. The wave is already complete. Wow. Oh, geez, I don't know. Uh... I'll come in handy later. Now all my def my my units are um, are not at max health because I increased the amount of health they can have. That always annoys me. Okay, so. Um, neutron stars look like you're pressing a pole into them because, uh, into the, into the trampoline because they're really, really heavy. They're, they're not heavy, they're really, really powerful gravity. Um, but 
a black hole is what happens when you puncture a hole in your trampoline. Because nothing's coming out of that. You can't come back out of a black hole. Not even light is fast enough to escape a black hole. That just blows my mind. That is just the coolest thing to me. The idea that a black hole punctures space and time. Um, yeah, yeah, that's actually a lot better. Okay. Wrong buttons. That's not what I wanted. Did I? Okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. No. Come on. Thank you. I need to run down here. So, oh, I've got an Eternia crystal under attack. Why is it under attack? I can definitely upgrade in the middle of things. Oh, well. Bunch of mana that I can't pick up. I ever told you guys um, about how stars die? I feel like I, if I haven't done a talk on that, I meant to. So we talked about neutrino stars just now. Um, that those happen when a star is uh, heavy enough to go supernova. And there's so much um, matter in the core that when the supernova collapses on the core, uh, I guess I should probably explain why a supernova collapses. Darn, I should. If we're going to talk about this, we're going to talk about this properly. Okay, so. And I can't give you the correct numbers anymore. Um, besides, the numbers are in solar masses, and most people don't think in solar masses. So... Shoes? No, crappy shoes. Ultimum does not want those crappy shoes. Okay, so... I want to say it's somewhere around three and some change solar masses. So from, you know, and I'm actually not sure how heavy Um, how, how much matter you need to even make a, um, a star. But from the minimum to make a, a star, because clearly if you don't have enough matter for it to collapse into a star, you just get a planet. You get something along the line of Jupiter. So, um, whoops, I didn't mean to upgrade that. Oh well. So, 
so um, from however much matter you need to make a star to I want to say about it's either 2.7 or 3 point something somewhere around three solar masses um, Oh, an ogre has arrived. Let's see how that goes. It's going that way. We're going to upgrade some shit. Oh, he's going to kill my turret. He's definitely going to kill my turret. Um, well, I can't repair it in the middle. Goodbye, level three turret. I will miss you. Goodbye, level two turret. I will miss you too. Mm. Okay, so, um, between those levels of awesome. Oh, things got passed. Things definitely got passed. This isn't good. Son of a beach. Yeah, and there's nothing I can do about this. Oh, come on, really? Really? You gotta be kidding me. Well, fine then. So, what was I talking about? Okay, so th that that's where um, stars don't even go supernova. Okay, so he's level 22 now, so I can do this. I'm going to go back to medium, though. I love this level. One of my favorite, favorite levels. So instead of going supernova, um, the stars become planetary nebulas. So basically, when they run out of fuel to burn, the planetary nebulas um, just sort of dissipate. They shed their outer layers, and um, and you get um, white dwarves. Which are just uh, star remnants. Uh, I've never done this with just a mage before. I'm a little worried. We've already got a white burn. So, but if a star is heavier than that, which if it's he heavier than what is called the Chandra limit, um, which was, you know, figured out by someone named Chandra, 
what was his last name? Starts with an X. Um, then a star will go supernova and um, well, I'll back that up a little more. Yeah. Okay. Now I feel a little more comfortable throwing different kinds of turrets out there. Um, get off of there, you silly mage. Oh, I know how to defend this level with a knight, but not necessarily with a mage. I'm really worried about my strategy here. So, um, if it's heavy enough, it will go supernova. And at that point, um, how big the star is goes from will it go supernova to what happens after it goes supernova. It might um, collapse the core into a neutrino star or collapse the core into a black hole according to how big it is. Oh crap! Oh well, Ultimum, you're gaining another level. Hopefully we survive this. Oh my god, that's a big flux. This is a bit scary. Well, one got past. Two got past. And... Okay. Well, that could have been worse. So the difference there um, definitely becomes useful in knowing how a um, a black hole or not a black hole a um, a supernova works. So when a star is burning. Um, heat likes to expand, right? So um, the heat pushes out, but gravity um, is going to be drawing it all back in. So it is a balancing act. Stars are always in balance and equilibrium between um, the heat they are creating and the gravity that they have, which I think is pretty cool. So once the star runs out of fuel, it stops making heat. It it stops burning. It's out of it's out of stuff to burn. And mind you, when I say burn, I mean um, we're, we're fusing atoms. We're talking about fusion here. Um, but it is just sort of kind of termed like that. Didn't add this one. That's it. Good 
put one of these right here. And go, oh no, I was supposed to get out more again again. Oh, oh well. Silly me. So once it's out of um, fuel to burn, all it has is gravity left. And that takes over and the core of the star just collapses. Nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, oh. I really thought something was going to hit me right then. Um, and once it collapses down, it bounces off. Uh, everything on the outer bits bounce off the very inner core. The inner core is where the densest material is going to be, right? Because the, the denser it is, it's going to sink to the bottom. I should be putting up more turrets. I need a fire turret over here. And I'm going to put some more stuff to protect these crystals. Fire turrets are fantastic because they have an area of effect. Maybe another deadly strike over here. So, if the star is a big star, then um, there's so much matter on the outside that when it falls onto the core, and you got to remember it's falling from every angle. It, it, stars are spherical, so it's falling all around. Um, it crunches that core, and um, okay, I have three. I wonder if I put this up here, if it will attack things down there. I'm going to put it here so it will at least attack wyverns. We'll, we'll see. Now we're just going to upgrade. Um, and so if there's a certain level of crunch, it crunches the, um, the atoms itself, the electrons into the protons, and it creates neutrons, which is how you get a neutron star. And it is um, a, a crystalline lattice of atoms, which is absolutely incredible in my mind. I'm imagining, oh, that fire turret can't handle that corner. That's just, that's a little bit sad. That's, that's hard to watch. That was a very poorly placed turret. Oh, <laughs> I'm the character that's supposed to be hacking and slashing. I finally remember to switch to her and then I don't remember to kill things. Sorry guys, my crystal needs me. Which crystal is not handling?
we'll just upgrade. Okay, so if it's an even more massive star, and there's even more stuff, and the neutrinos can't hold up, and so basically there's this level of uh, um, the, the lattice will collapse, and it's called neutrino degeneracy. Um, the neutrinos, the neutrons. Why am I saying neutrinos? Neutrinos are a totally different thing. The neutrons collapse. Neutron degeneracy. Um, so if that happens, um, it will puncture space and time and make a black hole. And there are different, like, even black holes get so big that they can be categorized by size. That you've got your little black holes, if that makes any sense at all. And then you've got your big black holes. And at that point, you really are... It becomes difficult to kind of define all of all of that because um, you know, it's it's does your black hole have one event horizon or is it big and spinning and have two event horizons and I haven't even explained what an event horizon is which means that can you go into one event horizon and still escape if you don't go into the second event horizon black holes with donut shaped event horizons it's it's insane it's all sorts of stuff that uh, that's so far beyond where i the level i got to in astronomy i cannot even I don't know what to upgrade. I guess I'm going to upgrade you. And go. I love black holes, though. It's just such a cool concept, such a cool bit of science. Get off my head. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Nobody likes you. Eh, okay. Oh, I actually wasn't really... Oh, ogre! I want to go fight an ogre. Where's the ogre? Where's the ogre? Where's the ogre? <laughs> wow, you are attacking things down there. How nice. Alright. Come on, Ogre Face. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have led him all the way over here. It hurts it doing too much damage. Mine. <laughs> oh, any good? No, not really.
really want a little more speed. I like characters who can run fast. And you know what? We're doing just fine, so I'm not even going to bother upgrading. There were no weak spots. Alright, this is going to be the last round, and I think I'm going to call it a night after that. <laughs> okay. So, if there was anything I didn't explain well, definitely let me know. I might do my next talk over it. Or if there's anything, like, I said that raised any questions. Now, if you, if you ask a question or ask me to do a topic on something I really don't know about, then I am just going to have to tell you I don't know. But... If it's something I can't explain, I'd be happy to. All right, let's go beat up an ogre. Thank you. Oh God, I mean, I'm denting him, but I think he's denting me more. I'm just not really trying to even dodge him because oops I wasn't watching my health well that just happened that's okay we'll watch the turrets take him down death in three two one or not come on deadly strikes Get the ogre. Bam. Oh. Okay. There we go. My counting just needs work. <laughs> Whoa. Went a little too far. It's sort of fun just to sit back and watch the death and destruction. I hate those mages. <laughs> it just sort of popped. <laughs> mm, Alright, it's almost done. Alright, I'll respawn in a second. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so, if you're still awake, then, well, I'm sorry. You're kind of not supposed to be awake now. But if you are... Um... Let me know if you would like some um, Dungeon Defenders music, because the music is really nice in this game. It would be happy to have it very soft. But, uh, for now, I'll keep it off. Um, also... Yeah, oh, no, it's... Do I have a level for me? Never mind. Also, um, I am going to start putting my um, ASMR knowledge videos into a playlist so that um, you don't, you may accidentally like 
get the whole big large playlist and go from an ASMR video to one of my uh, vlog videos, which would be no bueno. Um, so I'll start putting the ASMR ones into a playlist so that chances are um, you'll go to another ASMR video instead of to one of my vlogs. Um, seeing as this is the first one, clearly that's not, it's not in there yet. Unless you're watching this after I've uploaded others, you know, which would make sense. You can't see me gesticulating with my hands and explaining things with my hands. But if you could, it would make more sense. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. And... May your scones be ever fear-inspired.